spot this party breaking up. My old dame's been out every night this week. What does she think I'm made of? Mr. Lawson's car, please. Mrs. Copperwaite's car. Nice party. Always the same. Carters are the best house in New York. Oh, Mother, shut up. I won't shut up. I think it was disgraceful for Michael Carter not to be there. You don't really, darling. You're just cross because I didn't get to meet him. <laughs> you talk as if I had designs of matchmaking. You're a scoundrel, Bob Prentice. Someday you'll be sorry for flirting around with all these married women. Ah, uh, 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 Auntie, you've been making Snoopy again. I merely approached Diana on a matter of, well... Yes, it isn't the approach that bothers me. It's the follow-through. Jim Curzon is a good husband to Diana. Auntie, I... we're passing a bar. I think a little soda would do you good. Yes, the soda would do me good, after I've had a slug of brandy. Good night, Mother. Oh, good night, my dear. Good night, Father. Good night, Diana. Good night, Mother. Good night, Jim. Good night, Jim. Good night, sir. Oh, Diana. Very obvious, Diana. And I don't like it. If it were true, it couldn't have been obvious. I have a little more skill. I heard people talking. What did you hear? That Bob Prentice is going to work again. Why can't he go to work? You know what I mean. He works only in one field. I won't stand no, for that. No, and Diana. I won't stand for this. Oh, Hugh, but where is he? Where is he? Oh, don't get nervous, Catherine. Oh, don't tell me not to be nervous. So, I had a party, and I gave this one just for Michael to meet that girl. Where does he go? What does he do? My dear, you're becoming hysterical. Hysterical? Don't say that to me. Where are my pills? I have them here, my dear. Two browns and one white, is it not? Yes, of course. Oh, Michael, Michael. Well, now, there's one thing. What thing? Well... Anyway, he doesn't get into any scrapes with one. But I rather wish he would. Oh, no, no. It's two white and one brown. Where on earth does here, he... Here, here, here. And don't say here, dear, to me. But where's the water? It's right in your hand, my dear. Oh. Ah, good evening, Benson. Steady, old boy. Steady. Steady. I got you. I got you. Oh, can't go upstairs yet, Benson. I gotta go and say hello. You know how it is. You better go to bed, sir. But the guests, Benson, the guests. The guests are gone, Mr. Michael. Benson. You don't want me to meet the guests. Mm -hmm. And I could have been so nice to them tonight. Yes. I got a lot of milk in me. Milk, sir? Milk? of human kindness. Yes. Have you got any milk of human kindness, Benson? No, sir. Yeah. Benson? Sir. Did you ever sit on the clouds? Clouds, sir? Yeah. Clouds. Crowds of clouds. No, sir. Clouds of crowds. Up on the clouds with an angel. Sitting on the moon, Benson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just sitting right there. Look, Benson. Benson. Benson, look. How's that? Lovely, sir. Ah, oh, your brush is lovely. Benson. You're going to marry the angel, Benson. You're going to marry him. Tomorrow. There. Well, what am I going to do, Benson? Marry an angel, sir. Oh, boy. <laughs> you said it. He's been talking strangely, sir. About going through the clouds and sitting on the moon with an angel. No. Just drunk. Yes, but he he kept saying he was going to marry the angel, sir, tomorrow. Oh. 
That kind of an angel. Good night, Benson. Good night. Mary White. Is that the name? Yes, sir. She's a stenographer at the Acme Luggage Works. Thank you, Mon. That's all. Good night, sir. Good night, Mon. Butterfield, 82598, please. <clears throat> the Carter resident. Has Mr. Michael Carter left the house yet? I beg your pardon. Oh, this is Mary White, a friend of his. Mr. Carter didn't come home last night. You don't mean he didn't come home at all? Hello? 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 Vanderbilt, 39970, please. Hello? Is this the University Club? Will you see if Mr. Michael Carter's there? And if not, will you see if there's any message for me? My name is Mary White. Come in, please. Oh, just a moment. Mr. Carter, Mr. Michael Carter. You won't be able to find him, my dear. So you might as well hang up. Who are you? I'm Mrs. Curzon, Michael's sister. What happened? Tell me quick. Has he been hurt? No. No, he hasn't been hurt. But you may be. And then again, you may not. Please tell me. I'm almost crazy. You thought you were going to marry Michael today, didn't you? Thought? Of course I did. I don't see how he can do these things. My dear, he has no more intention of marrying you than... I don't understand it. What are you talking about? Please sit down, and I'll try and explain. I believe you're a, a stenographer, aren't you? You see, this isn't the first time this has happened. Evidently, he gets some sort of kick out of promising to marry girls like you. Anyway, that's the only way my family can explain it. And then at the last moment, well, he just leaves them at the church. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He loves me. I know he does. I'm sorry. Vanderbilt, 39970. You think I'm a fool? Of course I'm a stenographer. Any girl knows when she's loved. You think I love him because he's rich? No, I love him because I love him. And because he loves me. Hello? This is Mary White. I spoke to you a moment ago about Mr. Michael Carter. Do you remember if he was there, and if not, did he leave any message for me? Mary White, yes. He did. What? Left for... I can tell you where he is, Miss White. He's left for France. <laughs> Here, 
ja, ja. En nu ook mijn lieve. En ook mijn lieve. Listen now. I know what it is to be in love. I married myself. But love isn't everything, in spite of all they say. And I didn't come with just bad news. You see this? It's a very large check. My father feels very bad about it all. And here. Here's a ticket to California. A change is so valuable at a time like this. You know that. And Mary, really, you get over it. Congratulate me. My brother will never marry little Mary White. Got away with it, huh? Completely. <laughs> what else could you think when we all said he left for France? Yes, but don't you really think Michael will phone him when he wakes up? No, my dear. She took the check, didn't she? Wait till he finds that out. You're a clever woman, Di. If you weren't, your husband would have shot me long ago. And if you aren't careful, my sweet, I might do it for him. <laughs> You don't mean that she's the girl Get that... Get this quick before anyone sees us. Wait, Bob. That check. Father's name. Sorry. Oh, but this is a scandal and a terrible one. What are we going to do? What will people say? Oh, stop worrying. Nobody knows except Morton and Benson. And you know them. They won't talk. Oh, how could any girl be so foolish? Oh, it's so like her kind. Completely without control. Mr. Michael is awake, sir. Thank you, Benson. What are we going to say to him? What are we going to do? Oh, Hubert! No, oh, dear! Stop it, Mother. We've got to see this thing through. Here. Try this. You think I dare? Oh. Boy, oh boy, who gave me this one? Benson! Benson! Coming, sir, coming. Ooh. Oh. A trifle weird this morning, Benson. Yes. Uh, was I drunk or something last night? Well, just a trifle moody, sir. out of my feet. Imagine, today of all days. What time is it anyway, Benson? 11.51, sir. What? Holy smoke. Telephone. Michael. Oh, good morning. 
What's the convention? Dear boy, you must listen to me. Just a moment, please. What's the matter, Mother? Please, please, Michael. You don't want to marry that girl. Don't want to... Wait a minute. How did you find that out? Oh, I see. A trifle moony, eh? <laughs> well, Mother, now that you know... Oh, please, Michael, don't. It would only bring disaster. Michael, you must believe her. Oh, you must. You must. Oh, wait a minute. You should all be congratulating me. Your little boy is happy. Don't you want your little boy to be happy? What you raise him for, to be miserable? <laughs> no, don't you worry. You'll all love her when you see her. You wait. I want Chelsea, three, Michael. two, oh. I have listened. I'm all listened out. Chelsea, three, two, Michael, oh, nine. Michael, for the last time I'm telling you, if you don't ring off and give up that yes, girl... Yes, I know. I'll... I'll cut you off without a penny. Hello, Mary. Hello, is Miss White there? Excuse me, I guess I got the wrong number. Huh? Well, who are you? Wait a minute, wait a minute, will you? I don't get you. Who'd you say you were? The janitor. She what? She jumped out the window. She's dead. Huh. You don't seem surprised. Why aren't you surprised? Why don't you look at me? What are you so worried about? What happened? What happened? <laughs> told her I didn't want her, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes, we told her you didn't want her for your own good. So? You killed her. Nonsense. But you did. You killed her. You killed a girl I love. Love? Disgrace, you mean. For you and the rest of us. You killed her! All of you. My family. My precious family. Getting a murderer's life! No. That's what you are! Before I'd ever live with you again, I'd kill myself. But I'll do more than that. I'll pay you back. Where's the nearest saloon? Nada Kelvichenda! Nada Kelvichenda! Thanks very much. Cheap herders, most of these Indians around here. Pretty good at it, too. You can think up a reason for liking sheep. Three days from now, if you're around here, you can get hey. to... Give me a drink. Sure. Get to see their ceremonial dances. <clears throat> they dance for two or three days. That's supposed to bring on rain. Whiskey. Go peddle your beads. No got beads. You give me whiskey. I pay. <laughs> Funny thing. Generally brings rain, too. <laughs> Some people don't like them. <laughs> but they like for it to rain, don't they?
me once. Where? Yeah, help yourself. Get out of here, Pete. What's the idea? Ask the law to sell it to them. Oh, the law. Huh? People always telling you what to do. Well, I ain't sticking out my neck. What do you say, Indian? Whiskey. Now you get me in trouble. It isn't against the law to give it to him, is it? Well, I'm taking a chance. Isn't that too bad? Hey, you are, Indian. Help yourself. How? Well, that's where how came from. Huh. Here's the how. How? Hey, another? Sure. How? How? Jaha, Tonta, Hunter! Now remember, Tanita, I didn't sell it to him, he gave it to him. Nada, I'm Oh, now, wait a minute. Pete! You don't let her run you like that, do you? Well, you're a man, aren't you? You keep up. Are you a man or aren't you? Sure. Well, then. How? How? Nada, maindo. Silna, I no need. My dear, let me give you a little advice. Never, never as long as you live ever take a man out of a bar. He never forgives or forgets. No good. Me? You. Prove it. I know. But my dear lady, I'm drunk. Sober just the same. Oh, no good drunk? <clears throat> no good sober. No good. No good. Well, let's drink to it. It's funny. A moment ago, there was the glass there. Now it's gone. No, I don't know. Nilchen, they'll kiss him. Hey, good shot, Indian. Good shot. Good shot. Hit that one over there. Hit that one. The, the little one. That's the one. Hit. Hit that one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Nice shooting, Indian. Nice shooting. Wait a minute. That one's mine. It's got my initials on it. This might turn out. Give me. Give me. I hope you're dead. Are you crazy? Do you want him to hang? Oh. He ain't dead. But we've got to get that bullet out. I'll go for the doctor. No. No, that'll get us into trouble. We we gotta get him away. Hide him. Savvy? Savvy. You know where my shack is up on the mesa? Yeah. You take him there. You're right. You go to reservation, pronto. Get me box. White man's medicine. In my titi. No, wait, wait. You're drunk. My father will never let you come back. I'll go.
Hello. Miss No Good. How do you feel? Rotten. Oh, oh, oh! That's where the bullet is. Bullet? Yeah, I remember now. We were shooting. Now I have to get it out. Yeah? Yes. I see. Hey, wait a minute. For what? Is the white man yellow? What happens if you don't get the bullet? You'll die. Well, that's all right with me. Just yellow. Yeah. Now, hold yourself quiet. Now, wait a minute, sister. Have you done this before? No, but I'm going to do it now. I know first aid. Where'd you learn that? My father sent me to school. I learned many things at college. Mm -hmm. One of them being that I'm no good. Hmm? The red man is the only man to stay in pain. My grandfather was captured by the Comanches. He let them cut off his hand finger by finger, but he wouldn't tell them what they wanted to know. They cut off his arm clear to the shoulder. He never made a sound. Yeah, but I'm not your grandfather. Must have been awful tough trying to shoot an arrow with one arm. Oh, he got even with them, all right. My tribe rescued him. And the Comanches who tortured him were taken. He had them pegged to the ground and their skin torn off in little strips. They died. Playful people. You Indians. They call us braves, don't they? Diem go, Tonita. Tonita? Tote si? Am I dead? No. Going to live? Yes. Have you got a drink? No. And I'm going to live. How do you feel? Yeah, oh, swell. You were pretty good. I was surprised. Well, thank you.
It must have hurt. Hurt? Oh, no. We'll put it back and let's do it all over again. You want to see the bullet? All right, bullet. Would you like to keep it? It's all yours. How's your boyfriend? My what? Mr. Howe. Oh. Well, he's all right. Well, so am I. Fly back. No, I'm all right. You do as I say. Oh, be good now. You'll stay if I have to hold you. All we seem to do is look at each other. And we'll keep on looking until I let you go. You must love that big Indian. What do you mean? You think I know you're doing this for him? That's true. But I don't want you to die either. Go to sleep. Something. Look, look. All the way through college, huh? Oh, well, I suppose I didn't see that. Huh? I don't think you did see it. Just crazy. About you. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, I thought you said something. I was just thinking. Well, don't ever do that. Can't give him much for the tune, but it sounds all right. Does that mean something to you? Probably means that I'm on trial. Trial? For what? Staying here with you. What a nurse. They wouldn't understand that. Well, I'll tell them. They won't believe it.
This is ridiculous. I've disgraced my tribe. Disgraced? Where have I heard that before? Disgraced. <laughs> That's a hot one. Disgraced. Well, what happens now? Well, it'll be all right. What's all right about it? The good sisters in Albuquerque will get me some work. And the big Indian, he'll go with you. I'm all through with the big Indian. Why? That's a beaut. On account of me. It's a funny one, too. Great. Once I was too good for somebody. Now I'm not good enough. I'll do more than that. I'll pay you back. <laughs> Boy, you said a mouthful. Suppose you did marry the big Indian. How do you get married around here? Well, he'd bring me the skin of a grizzly bear, beads of turquoise. That means I love him. And then? And I put a necklace of white beads around his neck. That means I'm happy. Look. In this hand, I have the skin of a grizzly bear. And in this hand, beads of turquoise. You don't mean... I mean this. I mean we're going to be married and I'm going to take you away from here. I'm going to take you to my home and you're going to meet my family. Will they be surprised? Will they be happy? Happy. Nobody could be so happy. Repeat after me. I, Tanita, take thee, Michael, to be my wedded husband. I, Tanita, take thee, Michael, to be my wedded husband. To heaven to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in oh, health. Oh, those are such pretty words. Huh? Oh, repeat after me. For better, for worse. <laughs> Your little house, my dear. I'm in there. Good night.
Michael. Hmm? Why did you marry me? Why do you think I married you? To play solitaire, I guess. writing a couple of telegrams for me. My arm still hurts. Thanks. Mr. Hubert Carter. Stuyvesant Trust, Wall Street, New York City. Dear Dad. I'm on my way home with my wife. Arriving Grand Central, 11 a.m. She is the most wonderful girl in the world, and how you will all love her. Mother will be so proud, as she is one of America's first families. Meet us at the station, Michael. Get that? Oh, that's great. Will you do something for me? Ask me. When we get off the train, I want you to wear those pretty Indian clothes. You do? Please. But your family. What will they think, Michael? Won't they want me to look like one of them? Don't you understand? I want them to see you for the first time, just as I saw it. And who's the bride, Mrs. Carter? We don't know. Michael is keeping it a secret. Uh, really? One of his little idiosyncrasies. Here you are, dear. All right, Eddie, how about giving us a chance? Okay, now we'd like to stand back here for a picture, please. Hold on. Right back here. Now that's fine. That's that. Michael has come through at last. I never had as many photographers as that. Hold it, Mr. Carter. Hmm? This is exciting. Maybe Mr. Prentice is coming in. Smile, please. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Can she be? There is a branch of the Dalmo family out there somewhere. Yes, her cousin, I think, wasn't it? I remember. He, uh, he went to Princeton. Yeah, yes, but he could have a grown daughter by now. All oh, the most delightful people. There's Michael. There. Father, as a matter of fact, our father. Aren't you father? 
I'm very pleased to meet our father. Well, I, I, uh... As you can see, father's pleased too. And, uh, and this is my sister, Diana, and her husband, uh, Jim Curzon. Uh, welcome to our family. You don't look a bit like Michael. No. Oh, that's how we get on so well together. Oh, you, you'll be crazy about your sister, Diana. I'm crazy about them all, Michael. There, now, Mother, did you hear that? Now, isn't she sweet? Her hair is so black. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, you should see her father's. He wears his the same way. Oh, stop, Michael. Oh, all right, yeah. Now we've got to get busy. My family can't have you all to themselves. The whole town's waiting. And they're not going to be kept waiting in vain. We'll be back soon. All right, Come on. Mr. 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 Carter. Uh, 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 not now. Oh, yeah. Would you mind bringing the mic to Get us back up. All right. Would you mind sitting down there? Mr. Carter. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. No, I don't know. Now, tell me. No, in there. Would you really love Mr. Carter? Oh, yes. You don't know him. Tell me, Mr. Carter. The city news would like to know. The city news would really like to know that the city would love Mr. Carter. Yes, it was. I didn't know. Please. And is Mrs. Carter an Indian princess? Oh, uh, 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 will you uh, say uh, something yeah. in the microphone, uh, please? Saying a few words in your own language. Have you ever seen any other boy or boy in the microphone? Anything at all. Uh, uh, right, well, I, I really Just don't know. Just a few words. Get out of here! 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 <laughs> oh, but an Indian. Don't need a storm cloud. Oh, I can't stand it. Give me my souls. What will Mrs. Sykes say? What will Mrs. Lawson say? What will they all say? Catherine, control yourself. Not so loud. We can't have the servants know about this. Yes, but won't they know about it? Won't the papers be full of it? Won't they know it if they see it in the papers? Yes, dear, yes, but they mustn't know how we feel about it. That's what I mean. We've got to think faster. I'll be here in a moment. Miss Smith. Just a little higher, please. Remember, you're addressing one of the first ladies of the land. Now, once again. Welcome well, to the Hall of Fame for the bargain. Very good. Mrs. McGregor, can't you stay in line? Good to see you again, Benson. It's good to see you, sir. Well, this is Mrs. Carter, Benson. Well, uh... <coughs> well, Welcome home, home, Mr. and Mrs. Carter. Michael, is it a home or a hotel? <laughs> it's only 50 rooms, but we call it home. Where's the family, Benson? They're waiting for you in the library, sir. Oh. I've been buying cameras. Ca cameras, sir? Mm -hmm. And iodine. <laughs> you should have been there, Benson. Come on, dear, I'll show you upstairs first. Yes, Mother. Father's right. Nobody must know how we feel. I won't be lost there. Yes, but what can we do? Can we hide her under the bed? Hide her? No, Mother dear. We are not going to do anything of the kind. We are going to bring her out. What? What, what? what are you talking about? Bring what out? Her family? That Indian with the shiny black hair? No. We're going to give a party. The biggest party ever held in New York. Everybody will be there. They'll all come to laugh at us. Well, they won't laugh. I'll fix Mrs. Squaw so you won't know her. And everybody's going to believe we are just crazy about her. Oh, Hubert. Oh, 
अंग्रेज विमान का आया Come in. Why, Tanita? It's late. Why aren't you ready? I'm ready. But what have you got that on for? You must be crazy. Michael asked me to. Oh, so he showed up at last, did he? I I saw him this afternoon. He's been very busy all week seeing his friends. He has so many, you see. Yes, I see. All right. And now, my dear, we are going to get busy. This is the dress you wear. Oh, but but Michael wanted me to wear this one. It was my wedding dress. He said, but Michael isn't going to get away with that. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. There's one thing you must learn about white men at once, Tanita. Never listen to them about clothes. And wait until he sees you in this. <laughs> He'll adore you. When does the circus begin, I wonder? She's misplaced her bow and arrows. <laughs> Nonsense, it's her horse. She can't find her horse. Of course it's her horse. You can't ride round shooting arrows without a horse. Of course. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Come, come, Captain. You know, I've seen you in your house before. Where's Michael's bride? Any moment now, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I came all the way from Pittsburgh just to see her. <laughs> Hello, Carolyn. Yeah. Hello, Hubert. Hello. It must have been an amazing experience, Captain. Most amazing. Mother-in-law to a storm cloud. <laughs> I've got to see her. Oh, you know, I've never seen a red skin. <laughs> Hey, look, there's old Charlie Williamson. <laughs> if he wasn't walking, I'd think he was dead. Oh. <laughs> Catherine, I'm really going to do it. I'll spit in his eye yet. Hello, Michael. Hello. Big night for you, huh? Yeah. How have you been? I haven't seen much of you lately. Tough. He doesn't like me very much, does he? For what reason? That's what I want to know. Give me one. And hey, I don't like you very much tonight either. Yes, I know. The lunch we didn't have. We did have an engagement, didn't we? We did. But I had to go down to Wall Street. Of course, there are no telephones in Wall Street. I'm sorry. Hello. What are you two birds talking about? And what do I want to drink? Uh, I was telling him about Tanita. The stage is all set. Mm. Hello, Bob. How are you? I'm fine, Jim. And you? Fine. Uh, Manhattan. What's new? Oh, nothing. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Bob. And I certainly admire your taste in women. What do you mean? I don't get you. No, and you certainly didn't get me this afternoon. I was at the ball game, too, and I waved and waved, but your attention was evidently all for the blonde lady. Not that I blame you. She was a beauty. Well, it looks as if it's going to be a nice party after Jim, all. hello. Oh, hello, Fred. Excuse me. Wall Street, huh? Don't worry about that. So that was nothing, huh? Nothing. You dared do that to me. Now, Diana, please don't make a scene. You dared. Bob, how dare you? Not so loud. I could kill you. You'll get fat threatening me. I'll do anything I please. Is that clear?
exciting. Is it really my party? Hmm, very nice. My daughter, Mrs. Copperwhite, and Miss Copperwhite. How do you do, my dear? Mrs. Copper what? I didn't get the last part of the name. Wait. Spelled W-A-I-T-H-E, but pronounced wait. I believe if you meet anybody, you might as well know what the name is. Or else just say howdy. Howdy suits me. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> Where's Michael? I don't know, my dear. He's around here somewhere. This is Mrs. Lawson. How do you do? Can't play Zia. Send it from her far because your failure upon its own doom so far. <laughs> Pardon me, don't speak French. How stupid of me. Dilce, Dilce, Vigo Stone. Huh? Oh, I beg your pardon. You don't speak Apache. <laughs> Howdy. How do you do, Mrs. Sykes? Now, you come with me. I want you to meet the worst gossip in New York. Let's go get it over with. Diana has done beautifully by her. And Hubert, you're quite an actor. I'm not acting, my dear. I think she's lovely. Yes, she is, my dear. The most vicious tongue in town. Really, my dear. You flatter me. Oh, let me do. I want to see her. I want to see her. Rouge on a red skin. <laughs> I suppose you find our ways quite different from things on the, uh, the reservation. Heap different. All time me no understand here. Of course. <laughs> oh, yes. What is it that you find strangest here? What is it that seems to trouble you most? Too much white man. Apache no like white man. Don't white men ever come onto your uh, your reservation? Come sometimes, all right. Chase them, catch them, cut them hard out. What? Cut them hard out. My word, your people hate us so much. No, hate them, like them, keep like them. Like them? I, I don't think I understand. Put them salt on hot, cook them, mm. eat them, <laughs> keep good. <laughs> But you married a white man, after all. How did that happen? Him too skinny. Heart no good to eat. Fat him up. Take him home by and by. Kill him. Eat him. How much you weigh? <laughs> well, she's done it, Michael. She's won them all. Toughest gang in town, old boy. Have a cigarette? No. <laughs> oh, uh, Mrs. Carter. Come. Oh, and this is Mr. Prentice. Oh, my dear, Mr. Prentice, that's your way to introduce the wretch. He's my nephew. And he's always given me much more trouble than my gout. <laughs> Anybody can have my gout at once. <laughs> As you can see, she's mad about me. <laughs> at any rate, more than the gout. It's a grave question. He's a scoundrel and a heartbreaker. There isn't a married woman in the whole of North America that's safe from him. What a build-up. <laughs> you don't buy that one, do you, Mrs. Carter? Of course not. Just looking at you, any woman could tell that she was completely safe with you. Oh! oh. oh. Good girl! Put him in his place. <laughs> that calls for a drink. Champagne. What's that? Huh? Huh? I say, uh, what did you say? I said... Well, uh, what, what did I say? Well, you said, uh, what's that? Well, what is it? Uh, wait a minute, uh... You said, what is champagne? No, no, I meant... I never had any. Oh. What's it like? Well, it's like... Uh, it's, uh... It's like... Well, here. It, it, it sings. It 
the Song of Songs. I want to see you. There's no hurry. Yes, there is. And I say there isn't. Come on, Bob. Diana, don't you know, never take a man away from a bar. He never forgives or forgets. There he is now. Would you know it was me, Michael? No, I wouldn't know it. And you're very proud? Oh, I hope proud anyway. Oh, you're great. Am I? It sure was a great triumph. What do you mean, Michael? I mean that. I told you to wear the other, didn't I? I didn't marry Miss Harris. I married an Indian. You don't like this. I was afraid you wouldn't. It, it's too much, and you don't want anyone else to see so much, do you? I'm, I'm glad you don't. I'm not shaking my head about your back. The way I lose, that's what I'm shaking my head about. I can't beat them at any turn. Every scheme I've ever had for revenge, they've just blown to smithereens. They? My family. My precious family. Always oh, right. Michael. What? What are you talking about, Michael? I'm talking about an Indian. I wanted you to come downstairs on a horse, shooting arrows all over the room, just as they expected you to. And I wanted my family to drop dead, I guess. Instead of that, you're the belle of the ball. No. I can't beat them. In other words, you wanted to disgrace your family. That was the main idea, yes. But I came along and fell in love with you. Because I was an Indian. Of course. It's a very nice idea for revenge. Well, maybe it wasn't so nice. Oh, but it was. I mean, I understand. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I do. Would you stay if I said, I'm sorry, very sorry? No. If I said, I liked you deeply, would you then? No. Tonita, if I said, I love you? Not if you said the whole world could be mine, and every star in the sky. Do you see this bullet? I took it out of you once. And if you ever touch me again, I'll put it back in you. Tanita, <laughs> <laughs> my dear. Thank you so much, Mrs. Carter, for everything you've done, and for the lovely party. I'll always remember it in you. But, Tanita, what in the world? There's only one thing in the world. One thing I'll live for. Revenge. I don't know what you mean. I mean, what does he know about revenge? He's a white man. Just think, it would have satisfied him just to embarrass his family. What a revenge. She means mother. She means... She's an Indian. Take me out of here, please. Tamita.
What's it singing now? One song. Wait till it sings in your veins. You laugh and do all sorts of crazy things. I think I'll laugh. It's funny. I knew I was going to like you. Just the way you came down those stairs. How did I come downstairs? That's your secret. I want to kiss you and learn them all. I've only one secret. I've left him. Really? For good. Oh. And I'm moving in. I see. And she's moving out. Not a bad idea. We'll both go together. No, you won't. Diana, I thought you were the one woman in the world who had what we call dignity. Well, I'm glad you thought so. Now you're going to think again. All my bridges are in ashes. You've got to take me back, whether you want me or not. Well, I won't take you back. I won't be discarded, Bob. Is that clear? Of course it's clear. This isn't love, it's pride. I know the Cotters. Bob, please! Listen, I'm through, see? Why, the very sight of you bores me. Everything, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you think. You're no good. No good. Shut up, you squaw! No good at all. Any of you. She's right. Shut up! Both of you! Come on, she's going to have a fit. And I don't stay around women with fits. No! You're right, Bob! You're not going to stay around! You're not going to stay around! You didn't love him. Oh, I don't want to die. I must have been crazy. Oh. You ought to be glad you killed him. You ought to be willing to die for it. I'd gladly die to satisfy my hate. I'll save you. How? How can you? I shot him. No. I shot him. No. Oh, yes. And listen to me. It's just what I'm looking for. It couldn't be better. What do I care about living? Life's rotten. Life's rotten. Come on. We'll get a cab. You can go back to it. Conley here spotted the guy just as he was making a dive for the subway. He yelled and I climbed him. Then I was just gonna put... <laughs> Where's the masquerade, sister? I just killed Robert Prentice.
I like these swanky motors. They don't have to climb upstairs. The dame wasn't lying. No. Right between the eyes. Them Indians sure know how to drill them. Not a bad looking dame, even in them rags. Call up the chief and tell him a confession is okay. Come on out of that. know that your wife walked in here and confessed, Mr. Carter. No, I didn't. Why do you think she confessed? Well, I might as well tell you. Because she loved me, I guess. Good reason, anytime. Why did you do it? Well, he had it coming to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, kindly put him away for the night. Captain, mm -hmm. can I see you? For a minute, yes. Alone, I mean. Not a chance. But, Captain, I've got to. I mean... I mean... Oh, Captain, will you? Please. I've ordered to take you out front, Mrs. Carter. What for? I've told you everything. Ordered. I'd advise you to come along. out of this. I happened to be there when the police arrived. I made them believe that I did. They think you confessed to save me. I fooled them completely. All you have to do is keep your mouth shut. Get me? Get me? Michael. Well, what? What? What are you doing this for? Because I want to. You feel you owe it to me? No. Oh, I just know they're not going to get you. They're not doing it. They're not going to get you, they're not. Oh, Michael. They haven't got a chance. I didn't do it, Michael. I don't want you to think I did now. You didn't? Who? Diane. Diane? She wanted to live so much. I wanted to die and make you suffer. It was my revenge. So... Life wasn't worth living without you. After all I've done. For better, for worse. Sickness and hell. Remember those words? Oh, Michael. Are we really together now? I was wrong. We were always together. I love you plenty all the time. I was just... no good. I was wrong, too. You're plenty good. Listen to that, will you? Ain't this some adventure, no? Fix up the slightest sound. Yeah, even a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> 